Congratulations to the University of Wisconsin. Today we are joined by head coach Kelly Sheffield, along with Sydney Hilly, Devin Robinson, and Dana Redke. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Sheffield and then take questions. Uh, we have microphones on both sides of the room. Also, for those watching on Zoom, we will be monitoring. If you're interested in asking a question, just drop it in the chat, and we'll try to get to as many as we can. Coach, <coughs> if, you'd, if you'd lead us off. See, um it was a battle out there, obviously. It's a um, uh, uh, congrats to Minnesota on a, on a heck of a season. Um, uh, you know, uh, Thursday night's match uh, showed so much of, of their heart and, and tenacity and stick to um, to make just a, an epic comeback uh, to, to win that match. And, and, um, uh, Tonight, uh, I mean, it's a handful, and um, uh, they've got some. They've got some seniors on that um, on their team that that played really, really well tonight. Um, they've had unbelievable careers, um, and certainly a tip of the hat to um, to, to, to those players. Um, the uh, you know, I, I thought I thought we were really good at. Um, uh, at, at the end of sets, you know, I thought we made some some uh, great plays. Um, um, I, I thought it was just a, it was a, a balanced effort, um, and the, the three up here I thought were were just were really big, but th they weren't the only three that were really big. I thought uh, we all played our part, and and um, we're excited about uh, we're going st still playing. I, I'm I'm excited that we get to keep coaching these guys. Uh, Sydney, you had said earlier you were expecting this game to go to five sets. What do you think you guys did so well to keep it to three? Well, I think a lot of those sets could have gone either way. I mean, we were in the red zone with them in all the sets. Um, we just did a really good job of uh, closing out in the high-pressure situations and just executing when the game was on the line. Uh, Sydney and Dana, I mean, just talking about this being final game at the Fieldhouse. I know, Dana, you seem really emotional. And, and Sydney, too, I think when you were announced most outstanding player of the regional, you had just this really what? genuine surprise face. <laughs> really? That's why we came up to yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, just for, for the both of you, and, and Kelly and Devin, too, just to add, I mean, what this, again, the senior class means, uh, especially this season. I mean, I don't think you could ask for a better match to go out on on your career in the field house. The, the energy was just electric. They added so much uh, to the environment. And I thought that that game was just super fun, one of the funnest matches I've ever played. And and on getting the MVP honor, honestly, when a setter gets that, it's such a reflection of who she has around her. The ball control and the hitters, they make me look good. So all the credit to them. Devin, can you comment from the senior class? Oh. You know, uh, sorry. <laughs> I just went out there with the mindset, I'm going to go do this for my seniors. Like, it's their last game in here. I'm going to make sure that we get this win for them, taking them to the Final Four in their last year. And I just played with my heart for them. Uh, Dana, it's that second set, you have to serve. It's, it's right down to the end. And you get an ace. It's like you're eighth serve of the year. What's your mindset when you step back there and, and the feeling that after coming through on that point? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, I haven't been serving basically all year. It's no surprise to anyone. But um, I, I've really been working on my serving game every day in practice. I had um, <clears throat> kind of just some shoulder stuff that was really holding me back and just mentally just wasn't really there. So uh, I've worked really hard coming in the gym every day, putting in a good ball after good ball, and just really gaining that confidence back in. So when Kelly told me I was back to serve, I said, all right, like you've been working on this for like two months. Um, so I, I knew exactly what I had to do. Technique was great, and it was nice and fleeing. That's what I like. It was yeah. fleeing. Best serve I've ever seen. <laughs> it dropped off the table. Tell them what clean is. Oh, flat and clean. Fleeing. 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 So there's no rotation on the ball, and it's really tight to the net. It's just a a really pretty serve. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for Kelly or the players, the, uh, 
do you, what sort of things do you think you guys did to limit uh, Stephanie Samity? Because she obviously had a really good match against you last time. Were there things you were able to do to kind of, kind of, I guess, mitigate what she was able to do? I feel like our servers were really courageous behind the service line, really getting them out of system, making it hard for her to, for making it hard for um, their setter to get the ball to her. So I feel like that was a big factor. And it didn't feel like we held her down, man. I mean, it just you, you're you're never sitting there against a player like that and thinking, oh, we've got to write where we want her. I mean, it just it's a uh, I don't you know she has um, uh, the power that she brings is is filthy and the creativity and shots to put the ball anywhere on the court, um, you know it's. Uh, I think serving maybe had a little bit to do with it, but I thought we, uh, you know, in the backcourt, I thought we were really good at, mm -hmm. at being uh, um, being balanced and pursuing. You know, a, a key when you're playing uh, that team is, uh, you know, when they're when they're going off speed, you've got to go and, and not only get to the ball, but you've got to be able to control it and counterattack is is really important and. Um, uh, your your defenders can't just be, you know, uh, locked in and feed in cement without moving, um, which is a little bit nuts because when they bomb away, I mean, they really put a lot of pace on it. So you, you're wanting to, to be dug in. But there are so many balls that they'll just they'll move around in the court and you've got to go and, and get those. And I thought we did a really good job of that tonight. Uh, Coach, you talked about your balance, and you have six players with more than five kills. I wonder if you thought that that balance impacted the game plan for Minnesota. It seemed like maybe they were trying to do some more defensive lineups. I noticed that Rachel Kilkelly was out there, maybe more than ID in the first set. I just wondered if you kind of were able to influence um, how they were playing against you because you did have that, that level of balance. Uh, Sid's got a lot of confidence in her hitters, and... Um, uh, and that that confidence is earned in, every day in the practice gym. And uh, believe me, if she didn't have confidence in somebody, you know, the kid's a winner. She, she she's not going to give somebody the ball. But um, uh, you know, they, they've they've worked on that, and uh, it's something that that we pride ourselves in. I mean, we've got uh, uh, we've got. Um, you know, some you know, you got a player like Dana that is just as as good as what she is, and um, but it's a it's it's a tougher deal. We're a tougher team when some other people are also occasionally getting some balls as as well, and um, you know, I think it raises the whole the the whole tide. So, uh, yeah, I think it's an offense that is tough to defend against. One more, just really quick. This is now your sixth straight win against Minnesota. You know, probably not common to get that kind of success against you know a premier program. I know they had success against you earlier in your career. Can you talk about what these players have done to sort of like they have talked about be really good in those tense moments and find ways to win these these really tough matches? I don't know. We just went and got Lauren Barnes, and <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was that was it. That kid, you know, it's, uh, you're talking about our losses. The kid is undefeated in, the, in in that whole thing. No, it's a uh, I I don't know it. It's not about them, right? It, it's 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 about these guys. It's about this team. It's not about uh, you know any winning streak or who we beat or anything else like that. I think that just I think that robs joy, and uh, you know, and I don't want to do that for these guys. These guys have worked really hard to to get themselves to a final four, and. Um, uh, because of who's on the other side of the net, that's not going to that's not going to impact that joy one iota. It, it really, th these guys um, uh, were excited to still be playing. Yeah. Still a couple more questions, quick. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Coach, you have Louisville coming up next Thursday. Obviously, you haven't been able to scout that team so far, but what do you just know about the program and that success they've had this season? Yeah. All right, so Louisville won. Is that what yeah, you're telling me right there? Yeah, it's a uh, – all right. Um, they've, had, they've had a – anybody that's making it to the Final Four has had a, a special tournament. Uh, the, the fact that they haven't lost this year, that they're undefeated, and they're 
they've I think most of their matches they've they probably swept. Uh, they've beaten some really really good teams. Um, uh, you know, it's a uh, but tell you the truth, I haven't been watching a whole lot of them. You know, we'll catch them here and there. They look athletic. I know they're really well coached. Um, it's a uh, we're excited to, to learn more about them. We're fired up to, to get an opportunity. Did you guys ask any questions? Yeah, we got to get this guy here. <laughs> Dana, that last curtain call, what's that feeling like for you standing out there with your people, your, your class? Um, it means like the world. It's like those are, this team is my people, but that class is just so special, you know. Um, We've had some people come in. We've had some people go out, and it's just like it's, we just we just have a bond, and we'll forever have this bond. And to be able to you know play like we did tonight in front of our home crowd, and um, you know go out like that is my last match in the field house. I think for every single one of us, that's going to be com that's going to be unforgettable. Um, so just being out there for the last time with them um, was super special. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I just have.